Continuing our series on the theme of put your ass where your heart wants to be, we've been talking in previous videos about the physical aspect of it, you know, that if you want to be a writer, put your butt in front of the typewriter. If you want to be a dancer, get your butt into the studio. And we've been talking about the idea of moving to a city that might be the epicenter of your dream. If you want to be in fashion, move to New York or Milan or Paris, that sort of thing. But now today I want to get into the parts that are really interesting to me, which is the metaphysical parts, the parts beyond just the laws of the universe. And the point of this video today is that when we commit fully to our dream, when we put our ass where our heart wants to be, we physically change. I'm convinced that our DNA actually changes and we become a different person after that, that moment of change. Now I'm going to cite an old movie as an example here, but because I think at least a lot of us have heard of this movie. Remember the scene in the first Rocky where he takes the six raw eggs and cracks them into the, into the cup and then he gulps them down raw? That to me is a moment of putting your ass where your heart wants to be. If you remember the story up to that point, Rocky had been basically a bum, right? He's working for as a bone breaker on the street. He gets kicked out of his locker at the gym. He's, he thinks of himself as a bum and people think of him as a bum. Then he gets the chance to fight the champ, to fight Apollo Creed. At first he rejects it, but then he gets with the program. And at that point, he changes. He becomes a different person. His DNA changes. And that moment when he guzzles those eggs, remember he wakes up in the morning, it's winter, it's Philadelphia, it's freezing. He's about to go out and run. His first commitment of training, he gulps those eggs down. And it's a powerful moment when you watch it because you know this guy, yesterday he was a bum, today he's a hero. Today he has accepted a challenge and he's going to go for it. Now, I'm going to tell you a story from my own life. This was in uh, my book, The War of Art. I had been like running away from doing my writing for seven years or something like that. And I was in this crummy little sublet apartment, kind of like Rocky's apartment in New York. And it was one of those evenings where I was going out of my mind with, you know, distraction and things like that. And I thought I should go out. I should uh, be partying. I should be running around, distracting myself, whatever. And I thought, I just cannot do this crap anymore. And I pulled out my old manual typewriter. And for the first time in seven years, I sat down, I tried to write something. And I, I didn't even know what it was. It wasn't like a book. It wasn't anything at all. But I worked for about two hours. And when I finished, I went in to do the dishes. And I realized that I was whistling. In other words, I felt like I had changed. I felt like for the first time, I had really done my work. And I thought, I can keep doing this. You know, it might take me forever. But I can do it. And I felt absolutely like I was a different person. And I really was. And the sort of the sidebar note to this whole thing is that my life did not change immediately at that, at that time. It was another 20 years before I got a book published. But I knew at that moment that I had turned a corner, that uh, I had put my ass where my heart wants to be. I had committed to my path as a writer. Um, have you ever heard of Brian Koppelman? I want to tell you another little story. Brian Koppelman is, uh, he was the co-creator and I think the co-runner, writer of the show Billions on TV. Really interesting guy, was in the movie business, good guy, wonderful guy. And he has a podcast called The Moment. It's really a good podcast. And what he, why he calls it The Moment is that he, when he gets a guest on there, a creative person, an entrepreneur, whatever, he asked them, what in your life was the moment when you turned that corner? And I think that's a really fascinating question to ask. Like that Rocky moment was his moment. That moment I just described to you was my moment. The last thing is, I know this is getting long, but bear with me. If we think of this moment, this turning the corner moment in terms of the hero's journey, the hero's journey starts in the ordinary world. The hero hears the call and the hero responds to the call. And what happens when you and I commit, when we put our ass where our heart wants to be, at that moment we go from being a normal person to being a hero. We become a completely different person. And just as Rocky, one moment he was a bum, 
The next moment he has accepted the challenge to go forward into this thing that he fears the most. Or for me, just putting down and actually writing, doing my thing, I had accepted that challenge and that was the moment for me. So the big point here is we physically change when we, when we make that commitment, when we put our ass where our heart wants to be. Now next week I want to talk about a couple of other aspects of this, of how the world sees us and how heaven sees us. And this is really going to get deep. But for sure, the big point of today is when we put our ass where our heart wants to be, we physically change. We're not the person we were 90 seconds ago.